This is going to be just a brief introductory video uh, into some of the very basics of our Sonicide ultrasound machine. Um, I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail. I'm going to, you guys are going to be learning more about ultrasound in your instrumentation course. But I want you to be familiar enough with some of the very, very basic functions so that you guys can get in here on your own, know how to turn on the machine, select a probe, and make some basic adjustments to some of the settings uh, to be able to review and practice on your own before you guys are tested on some of the material. Uh, so first things first, you're going to now want to make sure the machine is plugged in. Um, and then you're going to power it up. It's already powered up, but there's a, a, a power switch here that when you turn it on, this is how the, the machine will present. Uh, the upper screen is going to be <coughs> what your, the display of the actual ultrasound, and the bottom screen, which actually flips up, is your touch screen and your menu, how you uh, interact with and manipulate. Uh, when you turn on the machine, you're presented with four options. Um, you can immediately start scanning. Uh, you can enter patient information, which we're not going to use ever here in the program. Uh, you can select a transducer type. Uh, we'll talk briefly about that. And then under the Learn tab, um, there are some sort of examples or, or brief videos of how to, to perform or certain types of exams or look for certain structures. So you may want to play around with that on your own, but primarily it'll be either select or scan. Uh, if we look down below, there are three cables which are connected to three different transducers uh, and there are, there's a light. Right now the light is on this cable. If we follow that back, that's going to go to our 5 to 10 megahertz uh, linear probe and this is going to be the probe that you're going to use nearly all of the time. Uh, if when you came in and turned it on there was a green light over one of these others, um, either your curvilinear probe or um, this uh, smaller probe which we use for cardiac exams and other things, uh, if it was pre-selected to one of those you would go under select uh, and then you can change your probe uh, and so the green lights down below will change as you select it and once you've done that you can press scan uh, or selecting scan from that initial home menu will also bring you to this screen. So this opens up the uh, sort of ultrasound control panel. Um, notice here on the right you have uh, hash marks with uh, depth. That's going to correspond to what displays on the screen. So right now we're at a depth of three and a half centimeters uh, and so here we have three and a half centimeters of depth. If I was looking for deeper structures, um, I would just touch one of the lines on the hash mark and that's going to change what comes up on the display. Uh, but for most of what we're doing, having a more shallow picture is going to be better. Um, certainly looking for vasculature. So that's how to change the depth. Uh, that's one, f one um, setting that you're going to want to be able to manipulate. Next we're going to look at what's called the gain, uh, which I think to think simply about is just the brightness or the clarity of the image. Um, I'm going to go ahead in order to kind of show how effective this is and I'm going to put a, um, some acoustic gel, some a coupling agent. Uh, the sound waves do not travel well through the air but when I go ahead and put some gel All on right. it. So now we're going to go ahead now that we have a little bit of uh, gel on the end of the probe and we can sort of see the image better I'm going to show you what the effects of adjusting the gain are or adjusting the brightness. When I slide to the right, it becomes more bright, and when I slide to the left, it becomes a little darker. So we're going to slide, and notice the change in the gain, going to the right, going to the left. Now notice that when I touch this button, two other uh, slide bars popped up uh, on my touch screen. What that allows me to do is to adjust the brightness or the gain at different depths of the, um, of the ultrasound image. So for instance, if I wanted it brighter in deeper structures, I could adjust the far field or the deep structures individually without changing the brightness in the near field. And the opposite is true as well. I can adjust the brightness up top and make it darker down below. So I can adjust the near field and the far field individually, or I can adjust them as a whole using uh, the bottom. So we've looked at the depth and we've looked at the gain. The next thing that we uh, want to do from time to time is to look at something with color. So on the side here we have different modes. Um, we're not going to look at Doppler today, that's more of an advanced thing, but we will look at color. So when I touch the color tab on the left, I get a pop-up window here. Um, and that's going to allow me to uh, provide color which is going to be useful in identifying blood flow through structures. Uh, this window can be manipulated and moved around to cover different parts of the screen. 
Uh, kind of like an iPhone, we can expand the window or we can shrink it as well. Um, and we can apply the color. And to turn off the color, I simply press it again. And I'll demonstrate the usefulness of the color in just a moment when I scan myself. Lastly, if you notice, uh, for identifying structures, this isn't as important. But once we go to more advanced things with the ultrasound, when we want to um, actually use the ultrasound in, uh, as part of a procedure, like putting, in, putting a needle in, putting an IV in, um, we're going to want to align the midline, the midpoint of the probe with the midpoint on the screen. And whenever we're looking uh, to, to insert a needle, um, we want to be able to identify uh, where we're inserting it related to the probe, relating to what we're seeing on the screen. So you can actually click the M mode and it'll drop a line down the middle of the screen and that line corresponds to the exact midline of this probe. I'm going to go ahead and turn the M mode off. Um, and we'll go ahead and we'll take a quick scan. So I'm just going to roll up my sleeve here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to scan now my AC, my, uh, my anti-cubital. Uh, one other point that I should make is on the probe, there's a little notch, okay? That notch correlates to this blue dot on the screen. So this side of the probe, and I can tap it and see, notice correlates to this side, whereas the op opposite the notch is going to be opposite the blue dot on the screen and that's going to help you orient yourself to left and right. So I'm just going to pop this down on my AC and I'm going to, oh wow, look at that. So we have some structures here. Um, so what I want you guys to notice is right there in the middle of the screen at about a half a centimeter deep, all right, and I'm just going to point to the depth here. I'm going to go ahead and get that back to the middle of the screen. We have a vessel, a nice round uh, image fluid air, they don't take the sound waves well, so they're going to appear dark on the screen. Another way I can tell that is a vessel is if I press down with my probe, it will compress. Um, so is that an artery or is it a vein? We're going to look and see if it pulsates. Um, I can compress here as well. All right, and when I do, there's actually a deeper structure here that doesn't compress as easily. It will compress if I push hard on it, uh, but that's a pulsating structure. Um, well, so we're going to go ahead and put some color on and see, oops, wrong mode, put some color on and let's bring this up a little bit and see if we can see those structures. Uh, here, let's go over to this one. Bring that up a little more. All right, so don't see a lot of flow through that. So that's probably uh, Venus. And when I compress it, it crushes down pretty well. Whereas if I look for my brachial artery, it's going to be more medial. I'm going to look for pulsatile flow. All right, and so those are probably, uh, that's going to be that red right around here. Let's see if I can get it again, go a little bit deeper. And we're going to look for the artery. I'm going to bring it to the middle of the screen. And so we see pulsatile flow through the artery. And when I compress, the veins shrink and the artery stays open. Now, it's showing as red, and that's just um, from an algorithm. The way these machines work is that they're, uh, when they detect flow coming towards the uh, transducer, what I'm holding in my hand, that's going to, going to appear as red. And when they sense flow away from the transducer, it's going to be blue. So if I have the transducer angled up towards uh, my heart, blood in the arteries is flowing towards the transducers, and it will show up as red. If I simply tilt this away so that the blood is now flowing away, it's still an artery, but it's showing as blue because of the angle of my probe. So uh, BART, blue away, red towards. So when I hold this angled towards my heart, that's going to show up nice and red. Uh, and so that's how you use the color mode to identify vascular structures. Uh, so those are the basic buttons, your depth, your gain, your color, and the M mode will drop that midline. And uh, those are the basics of using the ultrasound machine that you'll need to review for your labs.